My name's Doug Dowds. I'm a native of Pennsylvania, and I'm here to explain to you about Pennsylvania's contribution to the Civil War. It's really in three efforts. It's people, it's material, and it's will. Over 360,000 Pennsylvanians will serve the Union Army during the Civil War. Most of them will fight in the Eastern Theater. Another 40,000 will join the Union Navy. Such notables as General George Gordon Meade, John Reynolds, Winfield Scott Hancock, and on the Naval side, Admirals David Dixon Porter and John Dahlgren will serve. But those are just a few. Many more will serve, including 187 Medal of Honor awardees will fight for the Union side. Now, on the material piece, Pennsylvania will contribute to the economic and industrial might of the Union. It will be from forges around Pennsylvania that will contribute 80% of the iron used for everything from railroad rails to iron for ironclads. Uh, there will be armories and arsenals from across the state that will produce everything from artillery to muskets to equipment to uniforms. In fact, the Allegheny Arsenal alone will produce 40,000 rounds of ammunition every day. Now the Philadelphia shipyard, that will contribute to the Navy side, producing ships and also naval supplies. And the fertile fields of Pennsylvania, well, that'll supply the grain and the fruit and the meat that will feed not only the armies in the field, but that population back home. For the political will that supports Lincoln's policies, well, that stems from War Governor Andrew Curtin. Many follow his lead, including influential Congressman Thaddeus Stevens. Now, there are many engagements across Pennsylvania. However, the most famous, the largest and bloodiest battle of the Civil War takes place in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. And if ever you visit the field, you'll see that the Pennsylvania Monument reflects Pennsylvania's contributions to the Civil War. Now, what you can see is that Pennsylvania lives up to its nickname as the Keystone State. It provides necessary talent, the material needed, and the political will. So, be mindful of Pennsylvania's contributions as you study the Civil War.